May God bless you all every day of your life. God bless you. I want to read an article to you. It is called Six Ways to Know That God is Speaking to You. And the website is familyshare.com, I believe. And I believe the writer is Tiffany Fletcher, perhaps. So let me skip all the way to here. In a world where fast-paced and high-tech living is the everyday norm, it can sometimes be difficult to hear the still, small whisperings of the Spirit which is one of God's preferred ways of communication. Oftentimes, even when we do hear it, it is difficult to distinguish among the many worldly voices drowning him out. If God's voice is sometimes difficult for you or your children to recognize, remember, God most often speaks to the mind and heart. So as you search your thoughts and feelings, here are six ways you can know if God is speaking to you. Number one, does it persuade you to do good? If you're suddenly inspired to do a good deed or you feel inclined to make things right by doing the right thing, then you can know that you are receiving communication from God. Everything good comes from God and that includes thoughts of doing good. Amazing. Number two, does it promote feelings of love? Are you prompted to show kindness when indifference would be so much easier? Are you compelled to clothe the homeless, feed the hungry, or help a family in need? If your heart is full of love and concern for others, then you can know that God is speaking to you. It is his way of helping his children in time in need through you. So helping his children in need through you. Number three, does it enlighten your mind or maybe two? Number three, does it enlighten your mind? Are you inspired to create something beautiful, to learn something new, or to gain further understanding? Does your path seem clear? Is your mind quickened? Or do you see life in a new light? If so, then your mind has been enlightened by the Spirit of God, and He is communicating His light to your mind and heart. This is how God brings beauty, joy, and pure understanding into the world. Number four, does it build you or someone else up? Are your thoughts and feelings positive? Are they affirmative in nature? Are they uplifting and do they edify? Do they bring you to a higher place to stand? If they do, then you can be certain that you are hearing God's voice speaking to your heart. God's voice will always uplift and edify. He will never speak thoughts thoughts of doubt, discouragement, or fear. God's voice will always be a voice of hope. So this is number five, I believe. 
Does it bring peace? Do you feel at peace with a decision? Do you feel calm in a time of trial? Do you feel comforted in your sorrows? If you do, then God is speaking, then God is with you speaking peace to your heart and bringing solace to your soul. This is how God comforts his children. Number six, does it inspire you to be better than you are? Are you motivated to be better today than you were yesterday? Do you desire to create goals and work toward fulfilling them? Do you see the goodness in others and desire to create that goodness in yourself? If you have a desire to improve, then you are being driven by the voice of God as he molds you and to the person he knows you can be. This is how God perfects his children. God speaks to his children in many ways. And if you are listening, you can know when he is speaking to you and your children. If it invites you to do good, then you can be certain that it is from God. If you are doing your best to make the right choices in your life and you strive to live worthy of God's spirit, you can know in your heart exactly what God is saying to you. So I believe this concludes the article. Let me see. Six ways to know that God is speaking to you. I pray that you have learned something and perhaps now you can know that God is speaking to us all. God bless you. Make sure you share this and subscribe. God bless you.